Hi, this is Shadi, Jigoro Kano, one of the greatest minds in human history, the founder of Kodokan Judo and one of the most memorable and iconic men in Japanese history. Jigoro Kano was born on October 28, 1860 in the East Nada district of the city of Kobe, the third of five children. His mother passed away when he was only 10 years old. His father, who became an officer in the Meiji government, moved his family to Tokyo when Kano was 11 years old. As a teenager, Kano was only 5 feet 2 inches tall and weighed 90 pounds. He was physically weak and he was bullied constantly. And for that reason, the desire to learn how to defend himself grew more and more. Kano decided that he wanted to learn and master jujitsu for self-defense and to boost his confidence. At the age of 17, Kano trained briefly under Ryuji Katajiri who felt that Kano was too young for serious training. At the age of 18, Kano enrolled in the Tokyo Imperial University and there he found Hachinsuke Fukuda, a Tenjin Shinryu jujitsu master. Fukuda focused a lot on technique and randori. Here we can see where the importance of randori in judo came from. After the death of Fukuda, Kano trained under Masamoto Iso, who focused mainly on kata. Over the next two years, Kano would live and breathe jujitsu. He would train day and night relentlessly. Things got so bad he was dreaming of jujitsu and shouting jujitsu terms out loud throughout the night. In 1881, after the death of his teacher Iso, Kano met Kitoriyu jujitsu master Tsunetoshi Ikubo and he would train at his dojo. There he crafted techniques like kataguruma, ukigoshi and surikomigoshi. In 1882, Kano founded the Kodokan, and the rest is a history. Kano wanted to reform Jujutsu as a means of education based on scientific principles, combat training, mental and physical training. Adding the principles of maximum efficient use of physical and mental energy and mutual prosperity for self and others. Inspired by the English philosopher Herbert Spencer, Kano emphasized three types of education, intellectual, moral, and physical. Kano Shihan would go on to change the world with his ideas. His goal was to create a better and moral society through Judo. The next time you wear your Judo Gi, think about how you can better yourself and the society you live in and not only about the medals. This was Shady, and thank you for listening. Please like this video if you found it informative. It's the easiest way to support me, and consider supporting me on Patreon to keep this content going and evolving. Thank you.